on the men's side here in PR sevens on the right side of your screen there all black sevens player Rhodes Featherstone leading his side out he's their captain along with Jerome Nale Alex Wormer the captain of the Pittsburgh Steel Toes the perfect colors appear from Pittsburgh as they come out in the black and the gold and there's Devin Short USA Eagle Featherstone he's he's really the the big figure literally on this side, isn't he, Bree? Oh, I mean, just massive to have a guy like him come to the U.S. and play in this season. The team, they've been here since the start of PR7s. They've had some names change here and there from year to year as they face off against the new Pittsburgh Steel Toes. John Lefebvre in the 15, plays for Old Glory DC. Yeah. Playing in front of his home crowd, he's excited for that one. <laughs> but a big storyline for the Steel Toes, no Ben Pinkelman, right. who has returned to playing rugby, but unfortunately sustained an injury after Not Pittsburgh. Huge performance there. So as they call in, Lance Williams, yep. another big name in MLR, plays for the Utah Warriors, so physical. Can he step up in Pinkelman's place and bring that same level of physicality to victory? The Texas team in the fitting colors, just like the Steel Toes from the great state of Texas, kicking away. Featherstone with that reach, gets it up the back tap to his teammates. Texas won the first stop. They won it down a Q2 in Austin, where everything started. Back in June here in PR Sevens. Chris Aurich had a hat trick that day. Good tackle made there by Ethan Hager. Two tries last week. Hager from the hometown of Wayne Gretzky, Brantford, Ontario. Here's Williams. Plays it off. Outside ball, trying to play it back there for David Hightower. Three tries and four matches for him. at the halfway line. Base of the rock play back out of there by the captain, Alex Wormer. Texas defensively, good job getting to it. Speed at the line, not much room to operate there. Oh, and the team just doing a good job of holding him up, and Silto is not able to get down. Oh! LeFay finally goes in, creates that ball. Side entry. Side entry. Penalty for the side entry, you can't do it. Featherstone, good step by look at it, throws another one out of the way. And then Hightower wrestled him down. Couple of big, strong, young lads kick through here. No help though, on that kick. Yeah, and it will be an advantage. Looks like the Steel Toes shoved. Team player out of the way. So, the team will retain this ball. Again, just a good heads up play to just do a little cheeky kick, see how they respond. And Craig Hunt just able to pull off that penalty and it looks like they're gonna go for a scrum here. I mean, look at what the steel toe side has done, Bree. I mean, that's that's pretty impressive, putting this franchise together for the first season and they're, they're blowing the competition away in terms of points. Five. Impressive stuff. Scrum here, as we mentioned, for the Texas team. It's like an awkward engage there, so it'll just be a reset. Featherstone, all black seven star Five. from New Zealand. Set. Big in every sense. <laughs> Referee gonna bring him back. A quick tap from there. Nale takes a look left, goes right. He's got two tries so far in the 2023 PR7 series. Inside of the five, about three meters out. They get to it. They use a short side, diving. And a beautiful finish there, getting it done over there. As Texas gets the try there from Jerome Nale. Hi, Jim, you're grounding. They are talking it over though. So I can order a try. Thank you. Quick conversation, and it counts 5-0, Texas. Yeah, the right call there as we take a look. Here's the rock. The tackle happens, decides to go back to the weak side. And Nale just diving over. Body doesn't go out of bounds or doesn't
doesn't hit the ground out of bounds, so he will get those first five points. Third try of the series, long top kick, and that one is big right down Pennsylvania Avenue. That is not an easy kick. Not an easy kick, but we know wow. that these kickers have been practicing for those sideline kicks. Yeah. Get an overhead look, and just going on the outside, Nale knowing that he had those extra inches. I mean, look at that freeze frame right there. Pretty. Body's still in the air, clearly gets the ball touched down on the ground. That's some pretty stuff. Great camera work Apple by Black. our camera crew and our tape room as well. Hey, gentlemen, I have off of Black. So there's the verdict. Texas will have the possession here. Inside of three minutes to go. Remember, these matches go in a hurry. Seven minute halves. So we're going to scrum down from here. There's Lance Williams there, 24. You mentioned, Bree, with Ben Pinkelman coming to the series this year. The concussion Five. unable to go. Chance Set. to visit Stability. with Lance a little bit yesterday. Stable. I think I surprised him. I said, did you play for June Jones or who was your coach at Hawaii? He said Norm Chai was an outstanding college football player in his home state of Hawaii. Texas coming at him pretty good here so far. Looking to add to a 7-0 lead. Featherstone runs right over the defender. Took two to wrestle him down. Lefebvre got the worst of that collision. Featherstone delivering the blow there. Play to the outside. Texas on the move. Inside ball and a good one. A couple meters away. I see. And there it is, put down. I don't think anybody was sure on that play, but they get the try as Lutz involved there. Yeah, I think Lutz maybe thought that Referee Aguiar was going to call something, and what? then Aguiar just waiting, just saying, please, <laughs> please, not it down. But just really well worked from the Texas team there, side to side. Yep. As we see here, just the ball back inside to get that little gap, and just keeping his feet really well. Knows he's not quite there, but all wrapped up. Johnstone not too far away. And finally, that ball gets dotted down for the team. So a couple of subs coming in. We'll start on the steel toes side. Misha Shorin, native of Kazakhstan, lives in Pittsburgh. 16 for the steel toes. And Devin Short, okay. and 18 for Texas, added for this round. Played for the headliners last year. Played most recently in playing for Nola Gold in Major League Rugby. USA player in his time. So the steel toes. Being stymied here thus far, down a dozen, 12 nil here with 45 to go in the half, but they can all change in a hurry right here. Good run, short on the tackle for Texas. Steel toes to it. Featherstone there, just missed on that diving attempt. Here's Lance Williams, first touch for him. Offensively, Williams gets in there. Opening the rock there. Hager playing it back to Warmer. Support there on that far side, trying to break through instead on his own there was Misha Shorin. <laughs> Quick tap on the restart penalty was called there on Texas. Here comes Pittsburgh. Up over the top, Lance Williams. Williams cuts back in, and Williams gets it down. In the dying seconds of the half, Lance Williams added this week. Big time play. Bottom on the board for the Steel Toes, Bree. And it's all about setting the tone for your team. Lance Williams comes in this week and does exactly that. Just so physical, but much better all around from the Steel Toes. Really started out from a really nice shifty run from John Lefebvre from behind midfield. And just able to keep that continuity going. Hager's kick, good. So 12-7 as we'll look back at the try here as we reach halftime three. And again, just getting that ball back out, working it from the other sideline. Williams knows he has his teammate on the wing, but jukes back inside and just bulldozes over the try line. That's how you make an impact, right? He comes in, no Ben Pinkelman. Several years with the Utah Warriors involved in the USA. 
Eagles program is Williams still in their sights. Future opportunities. Let's take a listen in here to Troy, I beg your pardon, to Jason Kelly, Steel Toast coach. You're inside man, you have a choice of attacking the breakdown or taking pillar. Do we understand? Yeah. Depending on speed of ball, right? Kickoffs, we take two hands, right? But we build the fucking face down and we fucking attack the ball. Let's run on, run on, run on to it. Hey, everything is up to you. Everything is up to you. Let's go, boys. We back our fitness, everything, gas. So I talk out, about right, the access, and sometimes you hear words you shouldn't hear. So apologies for that, but nevertheless, great access inside of that huddle. What do you take anything away from it? Yeah, well, the big message that I heard up front was about the defense. I think maybe he's not too, Jason Kelly wasn't pleased with the speed of the defensive breakdown. So saying, when you make that tackle, you either get in and counter rocket, really apply that pressure physically, or you're immediately out setting that pillar or that person right next to the rock to be that defender. Feeling like perhaps the Seal Toes just, uh, excuse me, the team just taking advantage too much off of that attacking breakdown. All right, let's check in with Nick pitch side. Nick. Pretty good stuff there because I just talked to coach as well and he elaborated a little further on that. His game plan coming in was to really stick to their systems and he felt like they got away from that a little bit. So the second half for him is about maintaining those systems and he'd like to see his side be a little bit more aggressive as well. He was hoping for a big push at the start, didn't get it. He wants it here to start the second half. All right, thank you, Nick. So underway here in the second, Featherstone has it, Rhodes, Featherstone. Quick tap on the restart from Devin Short. Austin, they won in Austin in the first stop. Pittsburgh, they won on the men's side in Pittsburgh. These two teams now meeting with a chance to move on to play the SoCal Rhinos X loggerheads in the championship here later tonight. Be able to see the second half of our day here on FS1 here in the U.S. beginning at 6.30 Eastern time. And that ball just doesn't quite go the way of the team. Just hunt, trying to get that ball off, a little bit off with Nale. Set! So Lefebvre will put this in. Look to make the most here. Takes a little trot with it, gives it off to Hager. Has been really good for the Steel Toes. Good ball. And a break free there, unable to. The ball carrier there. Shoren down to the back. Wormer. On the Steel Toes with some momentum. Featherstone couldn't make the tackle, and they get by Featherstone, but he drags him down. The offload attempt goes way back out near the 22 where Lance Williams is at. What a play from Featherstone. Dummy couple, dummies inside, taken in. Campbell Johnstone, eight carries in Pittsburgh, one here today, and it's a try, and we're tied at 12. Oh man, take a bow! Johnstone with that try, another local player out of Woodbine, Maryland. Played at Mount St. Mary's, played for Beltway Elite before moving to Denver. And that kick sails through. The conversion is good and the steel toes, Bree Kim, lead it by two. Here's a look back. Oh, I mean, look first oh. of all at this run by Smith, but Featherstone chases it down and Smith with the presence of mind to just get that ball, still keep the ball safe on the field. And the steel toes able to connect and just keep it going. And Johnstone doing the hard work at the end to get that try. 14 straight points from the Pittsburgh steel toes and Williams. Going hearkening back to his days as a linebacker for Norm Chow at the University of Hawaii there. Left as the all-time leading tackler in Hawaii history. Knock on is called here. So a two-point lead here for the Steel Toes, 14-12, with 4.15 to play in the match. Oh, and you just see with that error right there, the team just maybe getting a little bit ahead of themselves looking at where he was going to pass before he caught the ball. And that's just the pressure that's building here. I mean, there's still plenty of time, but the Steel Toes riding this wave here. Four tries have been scored by four different men here in this match. Under four to play in it. Right out of it, John LaFave. LaFave turns on the Jets. LaFave gets it down. Just like that. LaFave takes one in, and his side on top, 19-12 with a kick coming. John 
Lefebvre, so sleek with his running, so sly, and just knows that he's got that speed and still has that app option outside on the wing, but doesn't need it. That was a pretty run. Big kick here from Ethan Hager, and not his best effort, but it's a 19-12 lead, so a seven-point match, so still a one try, converted try, match at this point, Bree. And Lefebvre just takes it off the scrum, goes completely his way and knows he can shake off that player. He's an up-and-coming star for the U.S. And it's great to see him get that off the reward. top by Orange. Scrum to Black. So a knockout call there on Texas. Shut up. Johnstone slow to get up. Rhodes, or Love Featherstone, I beg your pardon. Rhodes, Featherstone, slow to get up. Great group of docs and trainers. PR7s puts together. Featherstone needing some attention, at least a look at that right ankle. This guy's an absolute gamer. That's part of what we, if you were with us at 3.30, we talked about the international players, players like Featherstone, players like Stacy Waka, and there's many others. Ruby Tui, who's not playing here, and her team didn't make it. So many have come over this year. They've seen what's going on here in the States, and it's great for the sport. So good for the sport, coupled with five up and coming players like Lefebvre. Yep. Set, hold. They were down by 12-0, now they have 19 unanswered. Lefebvre trying to get it to the back. Definitely use that in the interview. You know, how, do you, how do you come back and do 12-0? Just over two minutes remaining in the match. The Steel Toes up by seven. We're going to scrum here once again. Again, no need to rush this here. Just make sure you get Cut. set. As Hager yeah, yeah, looks yeah. back, yep. communicates with Raymond figure Five. out what move they're running here. Set! Lefebvre gets it. There's the aforementioned Hager. He spins it. And unable to handle that was Aki Raymond. You won't see him do that many times. An unopportune time for him to do it. And we see Tenorio come on. It looks like Featherstone just not able to finish out the match. Right. It's unfortunate for the team. And we see another sub two. That's Lance Williams back on. Right. And Raymond will come off. He knows he's got to make that play, no question. It's a scrum coming up for Texas here. Another one possession Cut. match. Cut! Clock moving, Five. 85 seconds to play in the match. Set! Can Texas get one and get a conversion? Good ball by Nale. Oh, what a hard charging hit that was. Texas still with it inside of the 22. They go. The carry from Tion Lutz, who scored a try here in this second half. Outside, they got support. And they use it for the bad ball and got able to save it over there. Was Daquan Patton. Ouch. Oh, just unfortunate, but let's take a look back at Evan Conlon just barreling through, shakes off the steel toe. Okay, ties back on. We get one more look. Boom. Here comes the boom. So a line out here for the steel toes, under 40 seconds to go. Texas in need of possession, they tip it. But the Steel Toes get it. And they're going to maintain possession here. Penalty call against Texas. Here we go. Steel Toes know they just have to have a clean scrum. Buy a few more seconds of time. Let him buy. Let him buy. And then they should see themselves to the Set. final, but this has oh. to be perfect. It does.
Lefebvre puts it in. Lefebvre gets it. Hager's there. A little touch into touch with a boot, and that's the match. The Steel Toes in their first season in PR Sevens have advanced to the men's final. Well, they'll take on the SoCal Rhinos X Loggerheads in the final later tonight. Texas team will take on the Rocky Mountain experts in the third place match. And we see some good steel toe support there in the stands. You know, look at good old Campbell Johnstone. Well, I mean, Again, just what a great storyline. Pittsburgh Steel Toes, new franchise, lose their captain last week due to injury, yep. and still just coming barreling through to get to the much eluded championship final. It was a 12 0 lead for the Texas team, 19 straight points for the Steel Toes as they get the victory by 7 19 to 12 here to set us up. They'll take on the SoCal Rhinos X Loggerheads in the final later tonight. We're going to be closing out our broadcast here momentarily. Some interviews coming up at 6.30 Eastern. Join us on FS1 here in the U.S. Globally, if you're watching on YouTube, you can join us on Facebook and watch us there as Featherstone will head into the room and get ready for the next match. Down to Nick. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, John, you get the game-winning try there. Take me through it. What was going through your head? Talk me through that try. Uh, just saw them stacked one in behind in one week, so figured, you know, nine pick, I'd get a lot of room. I at least have a two-on-one -on, on the outside, but I uh, just decided to go, and we got the try. What do you need to do in the championship to come away with the win here in D.C.? Same stuff we've just been doing. I think we're a team that just grinds it out. We got good defense. I think we have the best defense in the league, so just going to keep working. John, thanks much. Yeah.